So for this card, I also wanted to use some Ellie art images. So this little birdie guy here, isn't he so cute? This is my art and I thought it would just be super fun to stamp him out. Um, so again, if you wanted to order the stamp, this guy is, I believe, $9. Um, so anyways, if you want to order it, just come in and I'll get that going for you. Um, I am keeping the original just like I am with the other, the um, tree image just because I love them so much and I'm going to use them all the time. So what we're going to do here is we're going to make a collage style card. So what you're going to see here is you have this amazing wood grain paper. There might be like a metal fixture of on the, the photo of the wood grain um, or it might just be a plain old wood grain on the other side. Um, so it's totally up to you which side you like more. You'll notice there's a little bit of a color difference. I like this side because it's a little bit warmer. So what we're going to do is put double-sided tape on the side that you don't want to see. I'm putting double-sided tape on the back on all four sides. You can also use glue, but I definitely recommend double-sided tape. Then we're going to take our music notes. Those are going to go along the bottom here, and I'm going to stick that to the back where the tape is, and then I'm going to pull this over and bring it to the back side again, pulling that tight and pressing that to the back side. The reason why I recommend double-sided tape versus glue is because if you take glue and you hold it in place, it takes forever for the um, ribbon to stick. But if you do double-sided double tape, it sticks immediately. Then we're gonna take a little bit of our double-sided tape, put it over the ribbon so that way that area is sticky. And now we're going to mount that on the front of our card base here. So when we lay that on, there's going to be probably about an eighth of an inch, maybe a sixteenth inch border on all four sides. Just a very small sliver of, of uh, the card base kind of peeking out. You see what I mean there? Just a little bit along that edge. Now we're going to start doing our little collage here. Now, if you happen to have a black ink pad or a black marker, you can run it up along this edge. If you don't have those things, it's okay. You will still be successful with the card, even if you don't have those things. But if you happen to have a black marker, I'm gonna show you how to do this. And I'm gonna recommend kind of like a wider tip marker. See, this is a brush tip. And what you're gonna do is you just go right along this edge like this. And this just kind of helps kind of frame that out. If you happen to have a brown color and you would prefer to do brown, again, you take a brown ink pad and brush it up against the edge or a black ink pad, whatever you'd like. Um, I actually decided to do black because of the images are black um, or you could do brown because the background is brown. So um, that was kind of my reasoning there for why I decided to end up going with black. And yes, the image is ripped and you're always welcome you're welcome to go in here and kind of adjust those because you want ripped edges on all four sides I think I did pre-rip some of them for you but you might have um, a packet that doesn't have the ripped edge in which case you just want to rip that down to size so then that way you can see and read your word but that there, there's not so much extra paper that it's taking away um, that's going to be covering up too much of the background so you can just rip and you don't um, just kind of hold where that image is and then just lightly rip so then that way you're not ripping into your word. If you kind of rip without guide, sometimes you can rip right into your image. So if you kind of hold that right there as you're ripping, then you'll get a little bit, you'll have a little bit more control. Okay, so that's how we get that framed out image there. Then we're going to take our music note um, piece here. And I just, I love the music sheet paper, the vintage stuff. It's so cool. So again, I'm just going to kind of rip that. Um, I'm ripping into my music a little bit. Um, I just want to have it look kind of like collage, kind of vintage, just kind of fun. It doesn't need to be perfect, um, but just, you know, making it look a little bit more distressed looking, but in a good way. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna take my mesh ribbon and this is the ribbon we're gonna lay down first because we're gonna try and hide the adhesive. So I'm just gonna think about where I want this to be. So I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive here and a little bit up here at the top. So just a tiny little bit, okay? I don't know if you guys can even see that. There's just a small little amount right there, you see, and then also right here. Okay, just a tiny little bit. So I'm just gonna stick this on here. Now I'm going to build my collage around the mesh. So I'm gonna stick on my bird image. I'm just using double-sided tape at this point because it just sticks really nicely to the mesh. And I love this idea of the bird and the music notes and the singing and springtime. It all just ties in really nicely. I'm gonna put double-sided tape on the backside of my sheet music here. And then I'm just gonna stick that up here towards the top. And then I have my sending happiness your way sentiment, which I love. And we're gonna stick that right here. And then I wanna frame this out a little bit just because I don't want there, I want there to be just a little bit more separation uh, between the bird and my sentiment. So the last thing I'm gonna do, whoops, I just realized my 
tape got caught on here. Oh no! Well, in that case, I'm just gonna use glue to finish off the card since I gotta fix my tape roller there. All right, so I'm gonna stick a little bit of glue on here, but then I'm just gonna add my little music notes right here below, sending happiness your way. And there we have it. I'm just gonna finish off the card and there we go. All right. Thanks for joining me today, friends. We'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.